Well, according to his sister, Mary Crawford, she found that training to be an office clerk was really boring, so he decided to go to Scotland. He met Jim Crow there, and um, he actually writes to his mother about Jim and just says about how he's met this friend, but how also how ter can ter terrible the conditions are in the trenches. But in fact, then Jim wrote a letter to his parents, and... It was actually about Hugh's death, and the letter goes as follows. Dear father and mother, you'll be pained to hear that I've lost my dear chum Hugh. It happened on the night of the 4th of April. He was killed by a shell falling right into the gun emplacement, killing two and wounding three severely. I was only about 20 yards off him at the time, having just left him about three minutes before to go back to my own gun when the shell came. Being dark at the time, I crawled back to see he was hurt. But when daylight came, we could see who the two dead were, and I got a shock, I can tell you, when I saw one with my dear old chum Hugh. I asked to leave our, I asked leave of our officer to bury him, but he would not let me. Several times I begged to allow to be buried him, and at last he consented in the afternoon. For three years, him and I chummed it together, sharing everything, sleeping under the same blanket, under all sorts of conditions. Nothing but a memory now. But a sweet memory that shall live with me as long as life itself shall last. In Hugh's sister Mary's book, she wrote about him being the most likable and unbiddable of the whole family, and also that my mother never really recovered from the shock and that it marked all our lives.